All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. So when I was summoning for Transforming Vegeta, a lot of people were asking uh, how well would the Transforming Vegeta work with Transforming Goku? And also, a lot of people want to know which unit is better, Transforming Goku or Transforming Vegeta. So I figured what we'll do here is we can go ahead and smack them on the same rotation and we'll try and go through all of their different forms in a row, see how well they work together, uh, you know, which unit is going to be hitting harder, maybe which unit tanks better. You know, we, we should be able to see all that over here uh, on this uh, EGL, well, you know, the, not EGL, but the, on the Buhan Transforming Boo event, whatever it is that you want to call it. Uh, the other thing, too, a little added bonus I figured I'd do is I tossed uh, the Kaioken Goku, and the uh, Int Super Vegeta will have them be a rotation as well. So, you know, those are the two big units that... Wow, 1.93. Uh, those are the two big units that came out alongside the Transforming Goku and Vegeta. And uh, we can see how well they are. So, like, th that was really the start. Like, that that Dokkan Fest, that dual Dokkan Fest, was the start of these, like, absolutely insane, like, you know, banner units. Because, um, well, I guess Android 21, well... I don't know. Does the Android 21 count? I feel like she might not be as good as some of those units. Uh, okay, so here we go. Now, again, we're, we're going to sort of see like how well the two you know units, Goku and Vegeta, work uh, as we progressively get further and further uh, you know through this event. Now, remember, I, I think Vegeta should be out damaging Goku probably by quite a bit here because. You know, Vegeta is designed to hit harder, whereas uh, Goku, you know, does have the damage reduction, which is very, very nice. Uh, but Goku will stack his attack and defense every super attack, so it's very important to get him supers. Yeah, there's Vegeta at 2 million right there. But remember that Vegeta's damage can vary a little bit on a scale uh, because, you know, he gets the extra attack per orb. I would say most of the time uh, we will have a situation where Vegeta is out damaging, however, that is going to be the common thing. Uh, Vegeta, you know, just uh, dealing more damage uh, than that transforming Goku. So, in terms of the Kaioken Goku and Super Vegeta, that's going to be interesting to see also uh, which of these two is exactly better. I, I, I don't know. I, I I feel like I might lean a little bit more towards Kaioken Goku, but you know that Vegeta, Super Vegeta is really, really good a lot. Uh, so he's not taking damage there. He's at 1.41 million. Uh, keep in mind that Vegeta, his attack is lower right now because our health is about halfway, right? So, like, you know, the more health we have, the better Super Vegeta is going to do because, he, you know, he that, that's the way his passive builds up. Whereas Kaioken Goku, uh, he has to be hit. Uh, the more times he's hit, the more, uh, you know, his passive will build up uh, they both get to about the same spot at about 200% attack. Uh, does Kaioken Goku build up defense as well? I believe he does. Uh, I would actually have to uh, quickly fact check that. Uh, that little aspect of him, uh, I cannot remember. So here we go. You know, Now we got Super Saiyan 2 Goku and we have uh, Super Vegeta. Now, not this turn yet, but after this turn. Uh, is where we're going to start running into issues with the two units linking. Uh, you know, well, they're third form, right? Because Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta uh, are not going to link very well whatsoever. But then once they get to God and Blue, at that point, they're going to be dominating together. So that's going to be very interesting to see. And yeah, okay, so Kaioken Goku, uh, he only gets the uh, base 80% attack and defense, and then he builds up his attack. He doesn't get additional defense. That's the difference. Super Vegeta get can get 200% attack and defense. I like how they made him. Like, you know, just very impressive. Kind of the way he was uh, against, you know, second form cell. I'm not too concerned about dying here. Uh, you know, these units are very, very strong. Of course, Transforming Goku does not take a lot of damage whatsoever. Okay, so he's up to 1.93 million. Not bad. Uh, what a Super Vegeta. Oh, now we're up to 1.99. We got an additional Super. Obviously, additionals can greatly impact to him. And then 2.21 for the Transforming Vegeta. So, you know, these two can sort of work together. All right, so we're going to take a Super Attack on Vegeta right here. This might do a bit of damage, but, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll still be A-OK -okay, uh, moving forward. I might actually have to heal, though. <laughs> Turns out your boy's actually going to have to heal. 
Uh, and I think this is the... We're going to move on to the Boo Piccolo stage. And I think we also have double bro... Wait. Yeah, we have double Broly because we're on the full power slash movie boss team. Uh, that's not the best team for both of these units, but uh, the transforming Goku and transforming Vegeta. But I would say that's probably the best team for them together, right? So, like, you know, for this video, using both transforming Goku and Vegeta, uh, on this team is where we could see them do their best. So, hmm, right about now, I guess I will go ahead and drop a healing item. Uh, we'll bring up a little bit health. I think a little bit more, and Kaioken Goku is going to be fully built up with his passive, by the way. So, that's going to be really good to see. Um, hmm. I guess, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I, I will give Broly these key right there for the little bit of extra uh, healing. So, uh, the this boo stage is the reason why, you know, shenanigans like this are possible where we can, you know, get the full transformations for Goku and Vegeta. Okay, so 2.17. So, yeah, Kaioken Goku may be able to hit slightly harder than the Super Vegeta, but Super Vegeta has way better defense. And again... Don't get too distracted by uh, Vegeta's numbers at 1.2 million right there. Because remember, you know, we were at very, very low health. So Super Vegeta did not have a lot of his extra passive left over. Uh, I feel like Broly is going to kill this, by the way. Uh, I think Broly will do so much damage that uh, Boo Piccolo is not going to be able to heal up fast enough. And I think that we, we might finish Boo off before we get to the, you know, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Uh, so I probably will hop out uh, and we'll go into maybe like the AGL Rosé event or something like that and uh, see how well they can uh, hold up over there. Hmm, I might actually have to switch teams as well because Broly is an AoE and you can't avoid getting him super attacks because he gives himself so much key at the start of turn. So probably... Uh, we might move over to, like, the Realm of Gods team or something like that. Um, okay, so, again, here is where issues can arise with them. Uh, you know, them together, they don't share key links, right? Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Uh, so that's a bit of an issue. Uh, I did come prepared, however. We are going to go ahead and pop an item right here because I do want Super Saiyan 3 Goku to be able to get um, that attack and defensive increase that he can do. Uh, so we can properly evaluate how much damage he could do at, like, the blue level. Now, the one thing that's going to be an issue is it is going to be tremendously hard to have both of them get their super attacks once they reach the blue level. Because, you know, Vegeta has to attack first. And he, you know, nukes the field, basically. You know, gets all orbs. Then, Blue Goku has the guaranteed crit. So... Uh, you know, they're, once they get the blue, uh, it's just game over. Don't additional. Okay, good. Okay, and don't additional again. Well, okay, no, no super attack though, so we're fine. Um, okay, so now we're on to super boo. Uh, wait. No, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, this is super boo, and then we go on to buff boo. The only thing that's annoying is, uh, super boo does lower attack, uh, on super attack, which is very, very annoying. You know, obviously we don't want to get hit with that. Uh, oh, all right, so Turles is going to transform here. Uh, I mean, that's annoying because we would have preferred to see Turles' abilities, uh, you know, with, you know, the, the uh, Goku and Vegeta, but whatever. Uh, okay, so now I've reached a point where we don't actually want to super attack. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Now we're going for uh, misses, super attack misses right here. So if I do this, then we could give Turles this... Uh, I, guess, I guess these right here. <laughs> Turles, uh, in his transform state, will absolutely demolish this boo. So, preferably, we don't want Turles to have a chance to get super attacks off. That would be no bueno here. So, Turles can get an additional super right here. Crit and super boo is, like, done. Because Turles hits so hard once he's transformed. Okay, nice. Alright, so now, uh, Goku and Vegeta are going to get to the god level. Now, this is where things start to get really good for these two. Because if we take a look at their link sets, right? Uh, let's see. So, they both have Super Saiyan. Uh, they have Godly Power. They have Warrior Gods. They have Over in a Flash. They have Fierce Battle. Uh, I guess the difference is that Goku has All in the Family uh, and Shocking Speed. 
and then Vegeta has Prodigies and Royal Lineage. But outside of that, they're pretty much completely together there. Uh, so we'll go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll get all of those purple orbs. Then we'll have Goku go ahead and get his super attack right there. Uh, I'll probably just go ahead. I'm just going to use another Princess Saint just to get our health back up. Uh, I don't think we're going to make it to that uh, rotation with Goku and Vegeta at blue, though. So, okay. Oh, wow. 2.66 now. <laughs> so I might need to head over to... Uh, I, I think I'll probably go to the EGL Rosé event. Uh... And, and I'll probably switch over to, like, the Realm of Gods team at, at that point as well. Uh, that's pretty much the only way we're going to be able to get uh, both Vegeta and Goku to their blue level. And then at that point, we can also see them both super attack on the same turn. Because otherwise, you know, it's... Vegeta has to go first because, you know, he nukes, so he needs that, all that key. And, you know, he gets, like, a, a, a 7 million attack set, a 6 million attack set on the right situation so it's over right like nothing really is going to survive that and then blue goku is no better because he has the guaranteed crit as well so things just start to get really really ridiculous um okay so i'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and finish up here uh and i guess i will just head over to that agl rose event uh again we'll go on the realm of gods team i guess realm of gods pure saiyan doesn't really matter which one uh and we'll see how this looks over there All right, guys, so now we have a very, very fun rotation. We have Goku transformed all the way to Super Saiyan Blue, but that's not all. We have Vegeta also transformed all the way to Super Saiyan Blue. So now the fun can really begin. Having these two together, Vegeta, of course, will turn the entire field into physical orbs, so he has got to go first. It's just that way. So looking at them, right? Uh, so they share uh, Super Saiyan, Godly Power, Warrior Gods, Fierce Battle, and Prepared for Battle. So just like before. And then, of course, the Blue Goku has Shocking Speed and All in the Family. So, uh, well, you know, the Vegeta has Royal Lineage and Prodigy. So they share five links. Uh, they work very well together, uh, as we might expect. So let's go ahead and see what the two of them are able to do. Uh, to our boy Zamasu here. Now, uh, remember that the way this is going to work is that uh, Blue Vegeta, uh, he will do ridiculous damage because he has a nuking type passive. Uh, and then Blue Goku is going to get a guaranteed crit, uh, which is going to be very, very nice. And just as a nice little fun added bonus, we had LRB Pan with her active skill. So... Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta, what could they do together? Oh, 5.77 million. No big deal, Zamasu. Fuck you. <laughs> and then, oh, but wait, there's more. We get the 2.95 million hit with the guaranteed 100% crit. Bam. <laughs> you gotta love it. So, Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta together. Uh, work very very well, but you know, that's not it. So we're still on this phase, right? So we can actually keep going and let's see one more rotation uh, Where the three of the or you know, the two of them are together plus we'll also have bra a more natural support type unit uh, Well, we're gonna finish this rotation off. It looks like with the uh, Dokkan attack. There's not really much you could do about that uh, Really the only way to sort of mitigate the Dokkan attack uh, would be to have like a very very weak unit on the team that you can have actually absorb that sort of Dokkan attack like I have heard I'm gonna do a video on this Because uh, I have heard of someone on the Dokkan subreddit actually beating Broly uh, The Super Saiyan Broly from the Super Saiyan 3 Broly event You can actually beat that Broly because he does not heal himself the way Zamasu does so you can slowly whittle him down it's just you have to have the Dokkan attack performed by a weak character uh, so that way, uh, you know, Paragus is not defeated. Because even if you don't click any of the orbs, uh, it's still an AoE attack. So, you know, it'll attack that first unit. Uh, just while memeing around here, I put a whole bunch of units that stack attack uh, on this team as well. Like Bra, UI Goku, you know, AGL, Super Saiyan, God Goku. Uh, all those units, you know, slowly build up their attack. 
Uh, I should add, by the way, that we are on the Pure Saiyan team. Obviously, having two transforming Vegetas, you know, that's what that means. Uh, the Pure Saiyan team. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do a video where I just, like, sort of go over, like, you know, in-depth sort of some of the things that you could do with the Pure Saiyan team now and how ridiculous it really is. Uh, but, you know, it's just, it's, it's very good. Like, all of these Pure Saiyans on a team, plus, because Vegeta gives a 100% buff to Super Class allies, we're able to rock Bra on the team. We're able to rock LRB Pan on the team. And they're actually able to get, you know, parts of the leader skill. So it works out very, very well. So uh, let's go ahead and have Vegeta finish things off with Rose right there. And we'll have Goku uh, knock up Zamasu one more time. So now Goku's at 2.62. Not bad. Uh, and let's see what our boy Vegeta uh, is able to get as well. Oof. <laughs> Another super attack with that 70% chance to stun. How lovely. Bow! <laughs> We've done a lot of damage to Zamasu. And then Vegeta is at 2.7 million. So there we go. You know, this was a team, you know, where we had the transforming Goku and Vegeta cards together. Yeah, that's what happens when Vegeta and Rose meet. <laughs> so all in all, I would say I think transforming Vegeta is better. Uh, in most situations, uh, transforming Goku will, of course, work better in Super Battle Road with his damage reduction. Transforming Vegeta is is good, but he's uh, not as good for Super Battle Road as transforming Goku is. Uh, transforming Goku also has one additional category team that he is on compared to the transforming Vegeta, and that, of course, is the Super Saiyan three category team. Because obviously, you know, Vegeta, you know. They sort of, these transformation units are going by, like, you know, the canon transformations, right? So, like, you know, Vegeta does not take the Super Saiyan 3 form on his transforming card. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see in the future what they do. Because, you know, the Goku, Frieza, and Vegeta cards all have five forms. How is it going to work? They're definitely going to do one of these with Trunks. You know, I'm sure we'll get one of Cell, of Majin Buu, where they transform every turn. So, it'll be interesting to see how they handle the forms for some of those other characters. I presume the Trunks one will probably be uh, the Dragon Ball Super Trunks. And I can almost sort of imagine that he might go, you know, like Super Saiyan Rage. And then his final transformation would be where he would get the Spirit Bomb Sword. Like, I could see them sort of doing that, you know. But we'll, we'll see how things end up going. Uh, regardless, we'll go ahead and finish up here. Uh, transforming Goku and Vegeta on the same team. It can work quite good outside of the one rotation where Goku would be Super Saiyan 3 and then Vegeta is at the Super Saiyan 2 level. They don't share a key link there, but everywhere else, they are actually outstanding linking partners. So thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.